Hey there everyone, Trentia here, and welcome back to Doom. So, in the last episode, we finished up episode 2, started episode 3. Things are going pretty dang good, uh, considering the, like, the past couple of episodes. <laughs> so yeah, we're on E3M4 right now. And, uh, you know, starting off like you always do, shooting pinkies, explosive barrels. And, uh, that ain't a secret, although you'd think it would be. So, there's some cacodemons in this room here. So we're just going to go ahead and shotgun them, because we have plenty of shotgun ammo to spare. And I could rocket in here. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, let's do two rockets. I want to save quite a few of them. More pinkies. There's a teleporter there. And inside the teleporter are some enemies. But we'll get there in a moment. So... Yeah, that preserves almost kind of a trap. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try to kill that guy here. I'm gonna grab this now. So yeah, the next, the first secret is just in here. You have to walk off the teleporter for that to count. I'll keep that blue armor just in case I need it for later. All right, so this next section here. A whole lot of enemies, but we have a nice little choke point. Just, you know, be mindful of the cacodemon projectiles. Only oh, dickhead lost souls. Oh, yeah. Alright, so I'm just gonna hit all three of these switches. So, grab this. Grab this invincibility. I'm gonna run past everything here. I'm gonna open up this door. But I'm gonna get over to this bullshit in the lost souls. Okay, that's all I really wanted to do. And now I'll go take care of all of the enemies I left over here. I know that was just I, I guess it, it worked better in co-op, that, that little maneuver, just because, you know, one of us would grab the invulnerability, go take care of the stuff in this room, while the other person would just clean up all the enemies that got aggroed from the first person running past. And funny to know that this does not count as a secret. Okay, so yeah, we can resort punch this. I'm gonna get away from this fucking cacodemon though, because I know I'll get fucked up. I thought those guys were infighting or something. Yeah, we'll head down this left pathway first. We go through the left door. I'm gonna wait, actually wait on this one. So it closes. Open up this door. There's a cacodemon. Then you, if it closes, this whole thing's like, oh no, you're trapped here with a cacodemon. But you just kill it, hit that switch, it opens. Green armor we don't need to worry about. Uh, I feel like I'm okay now, because the other two secrets are going to be in here right away. Don't let these guys come out. Blow themselves up. Yeah, this this next section here can be a little, little tough. Depending on your ammo situation. I guess rather just how you're doing on your health and all that stuff. I think this is a cackle around the corner, right? Yeah. Whatever. Just shotgun him. There's enough room to dodge left and right. Now there's some hit scanners in here. So I guess this is like slightly worth it. Okay, so that's at least one of them dead. And you, you just get punched the hell out. Yeah, a whole lot of people in this room. Nothing that's too bad. But uh, low tier enemies. I mean, I guess, I don't know. Shotgun guys be considered low tier. I mean, probably, but they can pack quite a bunch if the RNG rolls. Okay, so what's the way I usually do this? So if you kill this guy, you jump down here, you get a BFG. I'm gonna hit this wall. 
Try to blow them both up with that. Okay, get a whole lot of rockets right here. Yeah, so... This is, uh... Not too shabby of a little room right here, yeah? And just some imps and a specter. You know, real, real easy stuff. No, I wanted to punch you. Uh, however, it gets real interesting when you hit this wall. Oh, you didn't get killed from the BFG, huh? Whatever, you're probably just a few shotgun shots away from death then. And just punch this guy out. Alright, so yeah, we still need to get the last secret, which we'll be getting here momentarily. Yes, I, I, I don't know why I went the long way around, but you know, whatever. So now we can go back over this way and actually open up the correct passage. So we step on the water, uh, one of those doors opens up. There you go, so that's both of that opened up now. Oh yeah, this is kind of a little finicky. Let's just walk right into a specter. Yeah, we got a whole lot of enemies in here. Even more so, kind of, you know, trailing about. Okay, so for this, you want to hit the back and the left switch. Uh, I don't know why, I shouldn't have grabbed that now, but it's fine. We'll just make do, I guess. Okay, and then we come over here, hit the same ones. Kinda come through and F shit up. Grab this key. You know, get that nice sweet punch. Okay, so now we get to a little bit of a tricky situation. There's a whole lot of bad stuff in here on this floor. It hurts. Open up this wall to get yourself a, uh, a radiation suit. It's a Baron of Hell. And right here. Let's just blast him. Hit the switch. Careful of the pinkies that are around. Yeah, this guy can bite you through the wall, by the way, so be careful about that. And we're almost done. We just have a, a cacodemon at the end, I believe. Yeah. Three quick rockets. Nothing that uh, won't fix that. Alright, that was House of Pain. Okay, now this is my least favorite stage of episode three. Unholy Cathedral. So, let's see. I'm just going to do this this way. Start with the left path, open up the left door. Or, here. Open the left door, open the left wall. And uh, you get yourself a little secret. Get uh, some light amplification goggles that, I don't know, exist. So, the main problem with this stage is that... Four secrets, I believe, are all based around doing the same thing. Going onto a specific teleporter, which will trigger uh, one of four doors to open up, and then you have to kill some stuff and walk in there to trigger the secret. Or rather, you just have to walk in there to trigger the secret, but you know, it also comes with killing stuff. However, this left path ain't too bad. Oh wow, that was only a two rocket kill, huh? We got a, quite a few cacodemons in just this little weird section here. Now I'll just shotgun this one completely. So let's open up this door first. Because all we got in here is some, uh, some pinkies and some cell ammo, which is going to become very useful. Uh-oh. Okay, thank God. I can't believe I didn't get bit there. That was pretty good. Now, if I could just not pick up the supercharge right now, that'd be great. I'm gonna get the cell ammo. That will open up the door again. Now, over here. Wow. Hello? 
Okay, there's this wall, which opens up. However, before we go in there, we open up this wall right here. Which, this counts as a secret, which looks over the area that we're about to run into. I don't know, if, if you just want to sit there, buddy? Uh, hell yeah. Oh, that really takes us right here, huh? Um, okay, I guess we'll just take care of this real quick. A lot of lost souls in here. I just... I wonder if I can just run into that to grab it. I feel like I should be able to. Oh, he got stuck in the crusher with an idiot. I'm gonna try this a few times. Maybe it doesn't work. Maybe it works with like... I don't know, I, feel, I felt like it worked on this stage. Right, I'm just gonna make a save just in case I fuck up. So I'm just gonna try to push the switches from here. Yeah, so you see that works totally just fine. Oh, so there's a switch here. Okay. I don't know, it's just one of those things that, you know, you can do it and impress your friends. There's one more switch. Yeah, which opens up a few walls. The only one that counts as a secret is the middle one with the rocket launcher. Yeah, I should probably grab the that clip of ammo too. Oh yeah, I also need these shells hella bad. Let's get these rockets out though, because we're gonna have a, a friend to deal with out here. Okay, so now we can head back this way. Oh no, not there. Over here. And come Oh, that was loud. Open up this wall, kill the imp. That's a secret right there. And so now we can roam this area freely. Without being, you know, murdered by a floor. It'd be very undoomed guy of us to get killed by a floor, right? Okay, get this ready? So now we're in the middle. Yeah, so we gotta find all the teleporters that lead us to do that. And then there are... There's one certain teleporter, yeah, which leads us here. Room with a bunch of pinkies. Now I could berserk them, but I'll just BFG the first wave, because I just really want to. Now, I really shouldn't have grabbed that. Oh yeah. Oh man, those lost souls just fucking ganged up on that imp. That was a shit ton of them. Now there's one... I don't even know. I think like one of it's... Like some of it's a secret. But there is... Uh, this is the exit room. Well, you know, the room before the exit. There's the exit. You can open up this wall. Now... When you fire in here, all hell breaks loose. And that will open up that wall again. So now, we can sit here and wait for a bunch of enemies to spawn. And this really sucks, because sometimes it can just take forever for the last imp. And I mean, you can hear the enemies. They're like located right outside the room, I believe. In a monster closet somewhere. So, you just kind of wait until you don't hear it anymore. Three, four, five, okay. I still hear enemies. So I'm just gonna give it a few seconds. There we go, there's two pinkies. F that M. Okay, that sounds about right. So we have three enemies left and they're all gonna be in those center uh, rooms, I believe. Let's go ahead and, yeah, so. Here we have another Baron. And then, see that we have the yellow key card? Uh, which wall is it? This wall has writing on it. If you open up this wall to the right of it, you get a secret chainsaw. I won't grab that supercharge until I'm done here. So all these will just take you back here. You need to take this one. So let's just double check. Is this one? Okay, this is. I'll get pegged because I have a spare supercharge. So it's this one. Now, 
I want to say the only one I need to go through. Now I'm just going to save here just in case. Because there's this one. Okay, cool. I can't believe I actually did that. Yeah, yeah, just for the sake of having uh, one BFG shot for the next stage right away, I'm going to do that. And I get that invulnerability. How oh, nice. Alright, so let's go grab the supercharge. Wherever the hell that was. Where's the writing on the wall, bro? There it is. Is this the one? No. This is the one. Let's end this stage. Yeah, well, that was probably the best Unholy Cathedral I've had, to be honest. How long did that take me? Not even eight minutes. Okay. All right, Mount Erebus. So there's one important thing with the stage, and that is uh, you need to get one secret before you grab the blue key, or else you cannot get the secret anymore. Gonna let those projectiles smack the wall. That'll probably be like one of the first things on the docket. Besides maybe making a whole bunch of enemies come out. Oh yeah, I should, I should get that invincibility and then like get all the enemies out here. That would be smart for once. So we'll just get stuck here. Oops. Okay. Yeah, lots of chain gun ammo, so let's just use it, boys. So coming in here. Opens up the two sides. There's also a bunch of cacodemons. Let's just go over here. Hell yeah. Now, there's not really that many secrets we have to worry about crossing lava for, but there are plenty of uh, rad suits. There's a whole shit in attacking them, so I'll tell you that. You know, you know, Sapuku blast some of them. Uh, so I'll grab this, but that's kind of unfortunate because my invincibility just ran out and that bridge lowered. It's fine. Okay. I'm gonna make sure that nothing else is coming at me right now. I'm make another save. This is the most I'll save in a single stage, probably. Until I get to episode 4. Oh, hey, there's an invulnerability here the whole time. Isn't that hilarious? Uh, yeah. One rocket right at him before they charge me this time. Nope. Nope. Yeah, I think I need to do something about the fact that, like, I just never turn my... I never turn left good enough. Alright, so there's a secret in there. We'll go over here first and just take care of this. Yeah, which is in the back, right? Yeah. So this opens. So there's a demon that you heard spawn, or, you know, rather get aggro. Ooh, thank god I didn't hit that switch yet. Okay, bro. So we'll lower the well, that's the door. We'll open up the wall. Cool. It was sick. And now we'll open up this one, grab the suit. And uh, let's just go ahead and uh, have some fun, shall we? I just want to go over here. Yeah, there's nothing there. Okay, we're good. Uh, there's imps in here. I'll get rid of them before I get, you know, hit by a spare fireball. There's gonna be quite a few guys in here. Okay, not too bad of a room. So over here where this candle is, you can get some cell ammo. Uh, now I'm just gonna save again. So this, right here, this chainsaw, uh, if you grab it, yeah, see they raised there? But if you get the blue key card, because, like, okay, so once you hit that, that pink thing that I hit, that, you know, I fell off of, that raises that. So, yeah, it's, uh, unfortunate, really. But we got it, so that's all that matters. Now I'm going to kill all the, the Kakademons now, before I unleash more. I mean, I know I unleashed the biggest part of them, but just making sure, bruv. Now I'm going to grab this. And then we're going to go get the blue key card. 
because now that I have this, I can easily take on everyone that's going to be inside this room. Yeah, so you can't go that way because it's closed. Oh no! Yeah, there's some capitals. Grab that blue key. Just really stick it to him. You know? Yeah, so look at that. They're all just right out there. Despicable. I'll just pop out. Lost souls. Don't tell me that all that stuff just hit the wall. Because I will actually be. <laughs> like. What's the word? I don't know. I won't be able to be helped. I'll grab the computer area map. Okay, yeah, because the last secret is going to be, of course, going to the secret level. Hmm, getting pinched by some cactus there. That ain't nice. Might as well just grab this while I'm here before my suit runs out. Let's do this, make myself feel better. Still hearing a lot of... Oh, Lost Souls don't count, though. Uh, I do know I need to go... over here. Well, I'm just gonna grab this ammo while I still have this, you know what I'm saying? Dude, I need to get new armor. Okay, so right there, what you just saw was a bug where... Uh, sometimes... like... <laughs> essentially, it's just like a radiation suit leak. Because even though I had it, it still damaged me, which is also, also very sad, and also that was me missing. I don't know, I'm just like so, like I don't want to hit my, my keyboard. That, that's the problem with turning left, is there's a keyboard there. Is that more Cacodemons out there, or... Was I just seeing corpses? Yeah, I was just seeing corpses, I think. But still, there's one room I have yet to go to that has things I need to kill. Uh, grabbing that security armor is not exactly the best move, but I have to deal. Man, where the hell... Okay, so there's that. Okay, there we go. Gun is open with some cacos. But I didn't want to grab that. I wanted to bring this out. Okay, so that's all of that. I'm just gonna go down here and just get ready to. So right here, just wanna. Okay, that was that was a bad on my part. I need to get the angle right. This isn't hard. I, okay, so I see. I need to just like. Get a view of my surroundings. I'm just like so worried about all the lost souls. Okay. And this is perfect because this is right here. So, next time on Doom, we're gonna be close to being episode three. So until then, I'm Trentia. You guys have a good day.